Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. I uh, got the 6S Shreddy on the freaking block. Uh, today we're going to be ironcladding these out of this boat, okay? Uh, I'm running a, a Dynamite 120 with a Dynamite 3650 six pole, okay? Uh, it's a lot of power for this boat, okay? And it's not really all that much heavier than the stock electronics, you know, under 100 grams heavier. Um, I run the boat on 6S, like I said. I run this 5450 in the boat. Last time I was at the speed run spot, it was rougher than seven hells out there. Uh, and my battery tray broke broke out the boat. And I'm really freaking glad it did, because I'm actually going to use some really heavy-duty Velcro uh, on the boat for my batteries, okay? Um, Put a piece of Velcro on the battery, put a piece of Velcro on the boat. I also gonna actually fix this. Uh, the motor actually broke loose from the the boat broke connection and it's like kind of loose in here. So we're gonna use some uh, marine weld. You could use whatever you want. I'm using marine weld to do it with. You could use whatever you want, epoxy, whatever. I'm, I'm using marine weld, it's what I got, it's what I want to use. So let's get it, let's freaking get it. Let's get to it, you guys. Let's get to it. Um, the boat comes with this uh, 43, 35, 2300 kV brushless outrunner motor. It's got a weight on it. Okay, um, with this, you know, 100 amp ESC. Now, the, the outrunner motor actually aids the boat in the self rightening okay uh i've got a, i've got fishing poles and recovery boats i don't really care too much about the self rightening on the boat that's not a big deal to me uh because i actually lost my self rightening with the in runner motor okay um i'm about to pull the motor out i want to show you guys what i had to do to the motor mount to accommodate this in runner motor i'll show you that here in a second because i actually need to lift this front part of the motor mount up so I can get my marine weld under there so we can kind of uh, bond the electronics tray back to the hull of the boat. Now I could use my wet systems 105 or I could use the JB Weld 5 minute you know and, and I'm choosing to use this marine weld on purpose I mean it's it's what I want to use. I've used the marine weld and this mini mono on this ABS polycarbonate hull and it, and it actually works really good. You see it's got a little bit of flex. It dries extremely hard but it's got like a little flex to it. And uh, my reasoning behind using the, the marine weld over epoxy, epoxy is going to bond it in there and it's going to be stuck tighter than a dick hat band. It ain't going nowhere. Okay. Uh, if we crash the boat, okay, and, and it takes a wrong crash and I've got heavy electronics, the, you know, the motor shifts in the boat, you know, and that epoxy is not going to break and it's not going to budge. All right. And it could, this is an ABS hole, it could crack the, the marine weld in the boat. Uh, to secure the motor so whenever I do crash the boat and it's inevitable we're going to crash it at 60 miles an hour on 6s it's inevitable um, I'm thinking that that marine weld would have a little give okay a little elasticity a little flex so that our motor don't you know crack the hull you know what I'm saying that's kind of my reasoning my logic behind the marine weld so I got the motor out the boat, okay? You guys can see they had some type of adhesive in here, right there, and it actually broke loose. You guys see that? All right, they also had some in this corner right here up under the ESC, okay? And that also broke loose. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm just gonna like trim this old adhesive off, you know, maybe with a hobby knife or something. Uh, I'm gonna rough up this area here and try to prop this electronics tray motor mount up so I can get like a little stick under there with that marine weld. Okay, get a nice tight bond. Um, with the 3650, okay, I had to actually modify the motor mount to work. All right, you guys see how I filed? I actually filed the motor mount. All right, it had, it had like a little uh, support little you know a piece of aluminum from like this line to that line okay so I actually had to file all that support off the motor mount all that I filed like uh, maybe four millimeters off okay 
that will accommodate my collet. You guys see how the collet's sitting in there? Uh, the stock motor has a really long shaft. Okay, this 3650 has a short shaft. So what I had to do, I took a drill bit that was, uh, you know, a tad bit larger than the, the outside diameter of my collet. And I drilled out this center hole, okay, to make room for some slop, whatever you want to call that, radial loading, you know. When the, when the cable and the, or the shaft in the motor goes back and forth, I drilled it deep enough that it will accommodate that, that little bit of movement, okay? This looks and feels like CA and bacon powder. It really does. Jeez, that's what it feels like. That's why, you know, I want something that's going to kind of flex with the boat. You know what I mean? This is too hard. That's why it broke. That's why it broke. It's too hard. All right. That's why I'm using that marine weld. It's got a little flexibility, elasticity. It definitely is CA and baking powder. I was using my Dremel here. And it was smoking, and you could smell it. CA has a distinct smell. It definitely is CA. So if you get if this happens to your boat, CA and baking powder. All right, but it's gonna break loose again, okay? Because it, it it don't have no flex. All right. So uh, I've got my sandpaper under the motor mount, and I'm and I'm just trying to rough it up. All right. I got most of that CA off of here. Okay, I got most of it off. I'm going to put my sandpaper on this side, kind of go back and forth, kind of rough it up so we have a nice surface to bond to. I'm going to change it up. I was going to go ahead and bond it, okay, and then I was going to put the, the Velcro in the boat. But I think I'm going to put the Velcro in the boat first so you guys can see how I do it, see how it works while I have the motor out. Um, I basically want to bond, you know, do the bonder last so I can, like, put some weight on this and like weigh it down while it's drying you know so it gets a good bond so let's go ahead and do the velcro real quick i think i'm gonna go ass backwards here so the battery tray all right when you get the boat all right if you're going to use the stock battery tray in the boat all right i would definitely consider taking some medium gap filling ca and maybe go around the ends of your of your uh, of your battery tray you know just make sure it's not going to go anywhere because that actually you know after seeing what they used here to bond the motor mount in the boat with is definitely ca and it, and it kind of confirms what what i thought they were using to bond the, the the battery tray in the boat all right they just use ca on it you could feel it you could feel it you know in the boat where they use the glue um you know, you could, you could, you know, just ironclad it out, a little extra CA on the battery tray so it don't break loose. Okay, it probably won't break loose, like I said, running a 4S pack, but 6S, oh, you guys see what happened. So, uh, I'm going to use the, the Velcro here. I'm going to actually cut the bottom, the piece that I'm going to put in the boat. I'm going to cut it a little bit long so I can, like, have, you know weight distribution option you know i'm i'm pretty pretty glad this broke out you know because uh it was just cumbersome with this little brace right here so what i did you know with this with that brace i took my dremel i actually need to do it some more i took my dremel and grinded that brace down I grinded about four millimeters off of it, all the way, all the way up to the top. Once I was done, I just cleaned up any sharp edges with some 80 grit sandpaper. A little bit more room for battery placement, you know, with the stock battery tray. So you don't, you don't want any sharp edges to rub a hole in your battery. So make sure you sand down any sharp edges, round off the edges after you modify this brace right here. Now let's wipe it down with some alcohol. On my GPS here, on all my batteries, I usually put the soft side on my battery and I mount the hard side in my boat. You know, the stiff hook hook side. Okay. With this 5450 in the boat, you know, it's actually a small 
6S pack. For what it is, it's a small pack. It's lightweight. And it basically will stop where my servo's at. That's as far back as I can get it. So, uh, just to give you guys a little comparison, okay, this is a 5450. All right, this is a 6000 6S pack. Look at the size difference. All right, that's why I'm using this smaller pack in the boat, okay? It's a... Uh, Hell, it's a half inch shorter. It's a half inch shorter than this 6,000. I can't even get this 6,000 in the boat. With this boat, it really likes to be light. It likes to be light. <clears throat> you know, and you got to be able to get your CG back far enough to get the boat to run right. Especially like in a chop. Alright, so I get one shot at this. Once this stuff sticks, man, she is stuck. Ooh, sticky. Alright, so let's see if that's right. Oh, that's perfect. That's freaking perfect. Damn, I wish I'd have made it come back a little bit more for my gps but i guess i'll just put a little piece back there in the back for my gps nice this velcro is actually pretty cheap i'll put a link in the description to where you can get it i got it at home depot so the only thing I'm worried about is water getting under the Velcro from this strike right here. What I did is uh, I got this drift that I rounded the end off with, all right, and I just took it and run it right down that strike right there, all right, and press that sticky stuff in that strike so no water gets under, under the Velcro. Okay, so it don't come off. All right, man, it's just, it's perfect width for this battery. Look at that, that's perfect. All right, that'll work. That'll work. Okay, so let's throw it in the boat and see if, how hard it is to move around. Oh, that's perfect, man. Oh, that ain't going nowhere. That ain't going nowhere. That's that's in there. All right, that gives me plenty of room, so I can I'll be able to slide my battery farther back if I need to. With the stock battery tray, you only get so much adjustability. Okay, this opens up a lot of doors. Okay, so that's perfect, man. Got plenty of room. All right, I think that's gonna work. That ain't going nowhere. That ain't going nowhere. Hell, I can't even get it out. That ain't going nowhere. Jeez, I can't even get the battery out. Yeah, that's perfect. That's freaking perfect. All right, so I got it all prepped up. All right, I got it sanded, roughed up. I got me like a pick tool bent so I can get that bonder under this uh, electronics hold down. All right, so I can get it under there, get quite a bit on it. I'm going to build it up kind of like they had it right here. Um, like I said, we're using the Marine Weld, two-part Marine Weld. We mix up quite a bit. I want it to, to be uh, secure so I don't have to do this ever again. All right, just kind of mix it up real good. Just going to try to get it under the motor mount and, uh, you know, nice and tidy so it don't, it's, don't look terrible. Uh, this is going to be covered up by the motor, so you're not going to freaking see it ever. Okay, so I'm going to put some right there. And I'm going to try to lift this motor mount up so we can get it under here. Well, you guys probably can't see. Alright, so I'm just trying to get it under under the motor mount. Try to get it on the sides too, okay? Under the sides, on the rails here, on this rail system they got. So we get a bond all the way from like here up forward, okay? I'm 
and then I'll clean my mess up with some alcohol on a, on a towel T tidy it up cause I'm making a mess <laughs> So it actually turned out really good. Okay, I used a, a Q-tip to kind of clean up everything up and get it nice and tidy. All right. So now what I'm going to do is just put this 9500 milliamp 6S pack on there and let it sit overnight. Okay. It's the next day. All right, I'm going to take my 9500 off and uh, let's check the motor mount. All right. Oh, yeah, it's completely dry. Okay. Um, it's actually like a soft... You know kind of soft when it's all cured out all right and that's what i was hoping okay so now now if we wreck the boat you know the the motor mount's not going to go anywhere for one two it don't have like a hard connection like it had before that will crack if we wreck the boat and has a hard jar to the boat and uh you know it has a little bit of flex and give okay i like it i think it's going to be a great freaking adhesive for this boat for this type of material boat this abs hull um so another thing i did and i didn't uh video um when i had the stock motor stock esc in the boat all right uh i was running the boat on 4s 4s 6000 all right and i actually have my gps velcroed in the boat right here okay i had a big crash okay and my i pulled my gps out and my GPS was actually lodged right here on the motor. Okay, it was like scrubbing. It grinded a piece out of my GPS. You see that? So definitely watch out for that. If you have this boat, make sure everything's secured and nothing's going to get hung up under that motor. Okay. Why, when all that happened, I think my, my, my GPS was flying around in here. It actually like cracked the boat right here. Okay, or it could have been my battery because I actually have one of these ba big batteries fly out the battery tray with the single strap. All right, so um, nonetheless, I got a little crack in my boat right here. Okay, so what I did, what I did, uh, the battery is on this side of the boat. Okay, you, if it comes loose, it could, it could, you know, mess up the boat. Uh, this is a big hatch opening right here. All Two right. strips of drywall tape. One in the forward, forward part and one piece behind the, the brace. Okay. I cut it a strip, put the drywall tape in the boat right here. All right. Right there. And then I put and mixed, well, I mixed up JB plastic weld. Okay. You guys see that black plastic weld it also comes in a tan color i thought i had the tan <laughs> and i got home and it was the black so i went with it screw it you're not going to see it you, you don't even see it i mean you don't even see it you know what i'm saying so what i did is i is i basically took that plastic weld in the drywall tape and and i basically i, I didn't quite fill this little channel up but you know i i, I got a pretty good bit of J, jb plastic weld all the way down the underside of this hatch opening okay so if our battery you know comes loose like it did the other day at the speed run spot okay it won't tear this hatch opening to pieces all right you got me and um and it fixed this little hole i had in the boat right there so uh, so with the the marine weld on the motor mount the velcro and the ironclad reinforcement right here i think we got a ironclad boat okay it's some ironclad modifications you can do especially if you're going to be running the boat on big power 4s 100c or 6s even 6s with upgraded electronics okay that stuff definitely you need to consider doing that stuff if you're going to be running the boat with big power if you're going to run the boat on 3s i i really don't think you need to go through and do any of this stuff i think the boat will be fine on 3s 100c 5000 6000 7000 3s but like i said if you're going to be running new power big power um definitely think about reinforcing you know it, you know securing the motor mount and you know ironclad in your battery tray out whether it's uh you know just using ca on the original tray or velcro like i did uh it's up to you it's your boat you do what you want because i 
damn sure going to do what I want to to my boat. Okay, so I uh, hope you guys learned something. I hope it helped you out with your build, your boat, give you some ideas, something. You know, hopefully it helps you out. You didn't waste 20 minutes watching a freaking Ironclad RC video and you didn't freaking learn something. So I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Like the video. Okay, Big B with Ironclad RC. Channel where we tinker, test, and ironclad the shit out of everything. We'll see you next time, boys.